Okay, now that we've installed Eclipse, you open it up. So you get your screen here. So it asks for a workspace, just select the default one that it gives you. I have workspace 2 here, but that's because I have a bunch of other stuff in workspace in the normal workspace that I don't want to be bothered with. So then you get your bar down here, and when this is full, it'll open. So, just put it in full screen. And you get this welcome screen, which we're not going to worry about. So, you can just close it. And I'll delete that, because that was from a previous attempt at making this video where my computer crashed. Okay, so task list up here, we're not going to use that. Outline right here, we're not going to use that. So, you can just leave all this down here. Over here is your package explorer. This is going to be really useful. So, if you somehow close it, then you go down, you'll have a little button in the bottom left corner. Click show view as fast view. Uh, then it's right here, package explorer. So you just open it and it's back. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make a new project. So, new Java project, and it'll load a wizard for you, a project maker wizard. So, just type how about text based game, because that's what I had before. And you just click finish, and right here you have your new package. And inside it, you have a source folder and the system library thing. Don't worry about that. This is basically just the Java code. So, you have your source library, you, you have your source folder here. And I can delete that too. Okay, so you have your source folder here. And we want to make a package inside of it. So packages are basically going to hold all our cold code. You can use the default one if you want, but it's not very good if you try to have multiple packages inside of one project. So right click it and do new package. And this. First, I'm going to go through all the basics in Java, and I'm going to be displaying that in the Eclipse console, which would basically be command prompt. And then, I will either be using a graphics-based to text game, where it'll just be drawing different strings to the screen and allow for some user typing, or I will be using a, a thing in Java called Swing, which is basically a built-in Java GUI and it allows for different things like user input and it's very it's a pretty simple way to display stuff but the code can get lengthy so we're going to call this uh, net.tutorials uh, no, net.basics er, how about net.java basics? You can call it whatever, but I'm just going to call it net, uh, this. So then we have this here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new class inside of the uh, package. So right click on the package and click new class. And I'm going to name it Mies. So we have our class here, and this is pre-generated code that Eclipse just makes for you. So the first thing that I have to teach you, if you don't know anything about Java, is what this means. Public static void main, and you type string, args, square brackets, and then you put a bracket and another bracket. And then you press enter and Eclipse will automatically add the second bracket down here. This 
is what Java looks for when it runs a program. So whenever you run this program, it looks for this, public static void main. And if this is not here, then the program will not run. It, you will get an error, an error saying that it can't find this. So inside of here, basically, you want you put whatever you want the program to do when you start. So the first, probably most basic thing that anyone will ever ever teach you in Java is hello world. So you type system dot out dot print line. And then inside of here, you type what you want it to print. So, let's type hello world. Then you have to put it in quotes. So you have to put it in quotes, or else it won't work. Because quotes means it's a string, and if there's no quotes, it will be looking for variables, which I will cover later. So, if you run this, it will put this in the console, or if you were to run this with command prompt, it put it in command prompt. So, if you don't believe me, you click the run button, and you have to save your resources, of course. So we run it, and it says hello world. And we can make this say whatever we want. So, like, maybe hello YouTube viewer. So if you run that, changes and it says hello YouTube viewer. I then also show you it's uh, possibly a given fact but Java is going to run code in the order that you put it. So you put system not out to print line hello YouTube viewer and then you do system out print line this is my second message. When you run this, it will first print this out, and then it will print this out. So, as you can see, hello YouTube viewer, this is my second message. And that will be it for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, I will, uh, I think I will introduce variables. If you already know Java, then, you know, like, if you already know the basics of Java, and you're just here for the actual game part of it, then the first couple of tutorials won't mean anything for you. They'll just be introducing for anyone who doesn't know. So, uh, you might want to skip them, but if you want a refresher, you can watch them anyway. And, uh, if you have anything specific you want me to co cover, leave a comment, either here or on my channel. Uh, if you like the videos, like them, subscribe if you want more. Um, thanks for watching.